By some miracle, it is not raining today, and we're actually supposed to be getting dry, warmer weather next week, which is like, what? Because Oregon has basically been a rainforest the past four months. Hello everyone, it is Sam and I hope you guys are having a good one today. I'm here with my April book haul, so all of the books that I acquired in the month of April, which I'm pretty excited about most of these, which I recognize that I say like every time, but really, really I am excited and hopefully I'll be getting to them soon. So I will now leave off the suspense and actually show you the books themselves. The first few books I have to show you guys are actually received for my birthday and the first one came from my lovely friend Angela, who I'll link her channel down below. She's wonderful and I love her and I got to meet her last year because she came to Portland that was very exciting, but she sent me a Mouse Guard, Baldwin, The Brave, and Other Tales. I love the Mouse Guard series. I still need to finish it up. And I got her into it as well. And so she sent me this one to share with me. So she now loves it as well. And so it basically is a bunch of, it's a graphic novel. And this one has a bunch of short stories. And I'm very excited to read it because I really, really love Mouse Guard. And I need to continue on with the series. And I'm very excited about this one too. And I just love it. They're like really fun fan. It's basically fantasy story, kind of like Lord of the Rings esque with mice in a graphic novel form. And the art is wonderful. And the story is great and I highly recommend it, so I'm definitely looking forward to reading this one. And the next few books came from another lovely bookish friend from Twitter, and that's Fox, and she sent me this one, which I showed last month, which is High Dorini by Katherine Kurtz, but the other two, the first two in the series hadn't come yet, and they came this month, which she was very excited about. And so we have the first one, which is Dorini Checkmate, and then book two, which is Dorini Rising, and then of course book three, so I now have the whole trilogy, and I cannot wait to read it. She says it's an amazing trilogy, and it's one of her favorite fantasy trilogies, so I'm really Really excited to read it because you guys know I love fantasy and I've never heard of the series or this author so I'm very excited to read it and we're going to buddy read it and it's gonna be a lot of fun I'm hoping to start it in June I think because I'm just really 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 want to get to them they look like they're gonna be a lot of fun and I love classic 80s fantasy it's like my favorite type of fantasy it's like comfort fantasy so very excited to get to these books at some point soon the next two books I actually ended up picking up myself we took another trip to Powell's because I work near Powell's so me and my coworkers will go at least once or twice a month which can be a lot of fun and also painful for my wallet but not this time because I saw two books that I wanted to get and I've been on my wish list for a while used barely even touched because they look new for like five bucks each and I'm like yes please and that book is Dragon Champion by E.E. E. Knight and Dragon Avenger E.E. E. Knight which is the first two books in the Age of Fire series. This is a dragon fantasy series. I love dragons and it's been a while since I've read a dragon book and I these have been on my radar for a while so I decided to pick them up because who can't beat a $5 used book because that is like an amazing deal. So I picked these two up and I'm excited to get to them hopefully sometime this summer. I kind of want to read like a lot this summer. Hopefully that will happen. Lord knows that Zelda Breath of the Wild has been taking all of my time and attention, but hopefully I'll get back into reading more. And these guys are going to be read pretty soon. The next few books I actually received from the authors, and the first one is The Crowns of Crosswall by D.E. Knight. I actually got a really cool box, which I will have that video up somewhat sometime soon here. But I'm very excited to read this book. It's kind of like a book for Harry Potter lovers, it kind of has a similar type of premise. So a girl who doesn't know that she is magical at 16 gets sent to this magic school to learn magic. And she, of course, her life and all that she knows is threatened by the Dark Queen and you know she ends up becoming a protagonist and fighting against that Dark Queen. It sounds like it'll be a pretty fun book. I'm looking forward to reading it. I liked Harry Potter a lot growing up. Of course, it was part of my childhood. So I am I'm up for reading a book that reminds me of Harry Potter and it looks like it'll be a lot of fun. Plus the cover's kind of cool. So I'm excited to get to this one at some point soon as well. And then today I actually stopped by my PO box and there were a couple of books waiting for me there which look like it'll be pretty intriguing. The first one is Corsana, the book one of the Phalanx Syndicate. I hope I'm saying that right, by Charles Wellington III. This looks like it'll be kind of a fun book. It features our main character of Christopher Knight, CK, and he has the ability to influence people with his mind. And he's always dreamed of being a hero, but it's not quite what he imagined it to be. So he ends up being thrust into like a band of mercenaries and thieves and training and trying to become the hero that he is and fighting against the villain that soon emerges. And it looks like it'll be kind of a fun fantasy book. And I am definitely intrigued to see what it's going to be about. Plus the cover kind of reminds me of Indiana Jones. I don't know why, but it does. So it looks like it'll be a fun read. The last book I have to show you guys is another one from my P.O. Box, and that is Penelope Gilbert and the Children of Azir by Emily A. Stewart. She sent me this book, and it looks like it'll be pretty fun. It's a middle grade book that features, of course, our main character of Penelope, and she soon discovers that she has powers, and soon there's these men in black 
traipsing through the halls of her school. They're looking for people who have magical blood. And she's basically thrown into this world of magic and machines and pirates who rule the sky. And it looks like it'll be kind of a fun book. And it was really lovely. She sent me this book and she also sent me this really cool necklace right here that was handmade, which I love it. It has a key and I love keys and things on jewelry and bookmarks. And that'll be a lot of fun. And she told me that she also likes to color. And so she sent me a coloring page which features art from the book. So also that is pretty cool because I do love to color and that is pretty amazing. So thank Thank you very much both of you Emily and Charles for sending me these books looks like they're both going to be fun reads all right guys that is it for my rather quick and somewhat short April book haul I'm definitely looking forward to getting to these books hopefully sometime this year but of course as many of us I have a very large backlog of books to get to but I'm definitely looking forward to getting to these when the time comes all right guys that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching I hope you guys all have a wonderful day until next time happy reading bye